So hey, like, just gonna throw this out there. You're really cute. Uh, well, you know, my mom always said I was a cute kid. <laughs> oh, a mama's boy, huh? I'll be your mommy. <laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Whistleblowing and we're back with another video. For this video I'll be drawing a friend of mine called Miki Yamada and uh... What? Yeah. I know people. But anyway, if you end up uh, enjoying your time watching this video, please consider subscribing and leaving your like. It's free and you can always undo it later. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. haven't drawn in a while, I know, it's been uh, quite a long time. And you're probably wondering why I'm not starting by the guidelines and I'm starting with the line art. Well, that's because when I start the guidelines it's more of a trial and error stuff, like I try to see what goes well and what does it. It's basically just experimentation. And because it's a lot of time consuming, I didn't put it. It was about 3 hours just for the guidelines, so yeah, I wasn't gonna put it there. So, you can see probably in the video right now that I'm making like the line art with different colors for sections, but that's for something that I'm gonna show you later. And trust me, you're gonna love it. So, a little bit about Miki is that she's actually a 3D model maker as a hobby. And she has made tons, and I mean tons, of models for her avatar. In fact, this uh, specific uh, model you see right now is already outdated when I, when I started. I started when she was using this one, but then she changed. Well, that's life, I guess. She was introduced to the world of model making by her bestie, Zero. This girl that I'm drawing right now with the dark blue hair and the red jacket. Yes, she's actually pretty nice too. So anyway, she started by introducing the models and uh, after a while, Miki actually found her own, her own style. And after that, she just kept growing and growing. She actually started uh, on Twitter back in 2018-2019 by, uh, well, by responding to other people's tweets and stuff. Actually, it's not Twitter now, it's X. Yes, my bad. My bad. Okay, so she started on X, that was Twitter, like in 2018, by responding to people and uh, posting, and after a while she started posting her own stuff. There was also a time where she posted some AI art, but uh, she ended, ended up kept giving up, which is sad, because she actually did a lot of good stuff. And I know that as an artist, I must not... Uh, actually, I must be careful when talking about AI, AI art. But the thing is, I also tried it for, for a while, and uh, I realized that uh, as an artist, I prefer doing my own stuff. But AI actually helps a lot with inspiration and stuff. So as long as I'm not uh, making something against the law or against other people's intellectual property, I'm actually in the clear. So as of right now I'm finishing the base color and I'm starting the painting real soon. Uh, you can see that I've been making this uh, kind of festival scenario. I wanted to try something very interesting with the colors and the contrast. So it was actually a good experience for me as well as an artist. I like challenging myself. A little bit more about Miki. So she actually loves her community and she loves to interact with us. She's a very kind and friendly person in my opinion. Sometimes a bit a bit shy, but but who isn't? I mean. Uh, it's only natural. Uh, one thing that I actually learned from the very... Not very start, but... A few weeks after I met her, is that she is an expert in card and shooting games. Like... Like, she's a pro. And uh, I think it's a marvel that she likes to interact so much with chat and uh, in voice calls. Her Discord server is actually very safe and say so. So 
So, for this drawing, I actually try to apply some new techniques that I have learned recently, like making the highlights to make the character pop out of the background, and he actually went pretty well. You may be seeing like that I'm drawing different pieces, but if you watch my last video, and I'm gonna put the card up there on the top right corner, you know why I'm making these separate pieces. And uh, uh, in a total, Mickey has more than 16. I say more because later on I had to do a few more, but it actually ended up well. I don't know if you actually enjoy when I talk with videos, but I feel like it's a pretty interesting way for me to interact more with the people who watch this. So it's not just you listening to the music. Uh, I can give some moments so you can listen a bit of the music and I'm also gonna post the links to these musics uh, on the description down below. You can listen to it and, down and uh, use them for your own videos because I use musics that are uh, copy copyright free, so anyone can use them. Okay everyone, now I'm gonna show you a really interesting way of how you can make your line art look more interesting. So first of all I'm gonna select here a more reddish color, for example, uh, let's see, how about this one, yeah, cool. And going to the line art of the face right here, create a new layer above it, and just with uh, because I don't want to select the entire layer, I'm just going to go over it with a pen brush. I'm mean, just going to cover it all up, just like that. Okay, just to be sure I'm catching everything. All right, now clip it, and we have this little. Uh, this little shade of reddish pink, let's call it that way. And now we're gonna mix it with the line art. Now everything is this color. But we're not done yet. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna multiply the layer above it, being a bit darker. But before that we're gonna go to a filter. This is gonna be called Lens Blur. And we're gonna select this value here that is a free almost four. It's gonna look like that. And we are gonna wait for it to renderize it. And we have it right here. But it still looks a little bit dirty, so we're gonna just change the opacity a little bit. Like that. You can go you go with other colors, I'm gonna do it once again with this part of the hair, because since this the hair is purple we're gonna go with a purple let's go with a bit of a darker color like that and we're gonna go above the line art layer right here we're gonna select the pen tool we're gonna go all the way over it clip it and uh, Nest it. With that, we're gonna duplicate it. Select to multiply the layer above it, not below. Then we're gonna go over to a filter, lens blur, and we change the opacity after this renderizes. Like so. Uh, too much. Let's see. Yeah, this looks nice. We're closing into the end, so I'm gonna speak a bit more about uh, this piece and what uh, drive me to make it. I wanted to try new techniques that I have learned, uh, as, long, as well as trying something new, like the grayscale to see the values, which helped me a lot to see the how the light and shadow were working. I also tried a lot of color theory with the lights being yellow and the shadows being more bluish, which actually end up making it so much better. And uh, you can see that I also have like two dolls here, books over there and uh, 
these cards, they are actually Mickey's other friends. It's a uh, Zero, the one that I've talked about. Besides Zero, we have Vixie. In the book, we have uh, Yuchan and Nerf. And on the banner, on the panels, we have Raiden and Michan, which also are very good friends of Mickey. And as I finish down with my signatures, this piece is complete. And there you have it guys, I hope you all enjoyed this, I absolutely love drawing Mickey. It took me about, uh, what, let me see, uh, 24 hours, 31 minutes and uh, 39 seconds just for the drawing. And, because I don't stop here, after putting this on After Effects and playing a bit with the puppet pins and other functions, and also after a lot of suffering, time, uh, pain, more pain, and even more pain, I finally managed to make this little animation. I started doing animations recently, this is actually the second one I've ever done, and look how cute it looks. But anyway, I hope you all had a good time watching this video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye! Uh, bye bye. See ya. What is going on? Why why is this What? Is there something wrong here? Wait, let me check this thing over here, maybe there's something